Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and well, this is your general tarot reading going into January 2024. This is for love, romance and partnership. Um, and again, it's for Sag. So Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, you could be a Sagittarius or your person, whoever you're thinking about dealing with could be a Sagittarius, right? So like, share, comment, subscribe if you enjoy these readings, you want more just like this one. And if you want a personal love reading, I do have a sale going on for the New Year's. And um, take advantage of that. It's on my Etsy shop. I have a line of products, including video recorded readings, Etsy message readings. I have my tarot oracle decks. Today, I'm going to actually use the Epiphany. You guys may have seen this deck before. Um, I'm going to look at the challenge for you guys, okay, in love, romance, and partnership. So, Sag, what's going on? Clear messages for Sag. Me two cards, please. Like, share, comment, subscribe, you guys. Thank you all for your love and support. Hope you all are having a wonderful, beautiful, happy holiday season. All right, stepping out of my comfort zone. So, for some of you guys, this is pertaining to your person. Okay, maybe they're having to take the next step, do something they typically wouldn't do, something that could be a little bit uncomfortable, maybe something that they're afraid, right? Of, of how it's going to work out, how, you know, what the outcome could be. Um, and this could be you. Maybe it's requiring you both to take some kind of necessary action. I'm getting the full energy. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. Um, and it's requiring someone to let go of control issues, take that leap of faith, take a risk, put yourself out there, right? Um, one more card. We have healing from heartbreak. Okay. So for some of you guys, the reason why someone could be afraid is because they've gone through some kind of past hurt or heartbreak, pain, grief, loss, disappointment, right? And that's a lot. You know, it's a lot to process and, and heal from, let go, purge, release. And it feels like the energy that is telling me that is the biggest challenge here. Someone has been hurt before. Whether you've been hurt by this person, Sagittarius, or you've been hurt by a previous person, there is an opportunity where you're having to step out of your comfort zone, perhaps, or your person. And it's difficult, okay? It's just not that easy. So let's jump right in. Let's take a look. In the recent past... Messages for Sag, please. All right. In a recent past, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. You're the devil, okay? Capricorn, maybe you're done with a Capricorn. You're connected with a Capricorn. We have the Fool card. And we have the Six of Swords. So, yeah, in the past, it's telling me that Sagittarius, someone was tied to something from their past. You know, maybe it was toxic in nature because of the devil. Maybe it was something they couldn't truly let go. Maybe they felt it was a part of them, right? They couldn't release it, cut, sip, sip. Whatever it is, it kept them from maybe having this new beginning, from taking that leap of faith, from moving forward, right, and progressing in this connection. There was an opportunity, but I feel like someone had to resolve something from their past, Six of Swords, in order to embrace that new opportunity that was coming in, perhaps for you and them, okay? So the Six of Swords could talk about resolving issues, making amends, letting go, finding peace, moving away from conflict, moving away from wavy, choppy waters and going into cool, calm, serene waters. That is what the Six of Swords is about. So yeah, someone had to release or let go of, of a past situation, something that brought them great conflict and stress in order to have that new beginning or move forward with this beautiful, prosperous opportunity. Now, the energy right now, Sagittarius, of you and your person is telling me you're, you're not communicating with them. They're not communicating with you. There are some major communication issues or delays here. Um, for some of you guys, this could have been a fight or an argument. You know, someone could have said something snippy, something very, very... Um, you know, I'm getting the energy of like just vocally something something could have been said and it feels like, well, I'm not dealing with you anymore. Someone could have cut the cord. Someone could have cut the other person off and stopped talking. You know, this energy of silence, perhaps. Now, the energy of the hangman and the page of pentacles, something's telling me that Sagittarius, something isn't truly over and done with. And someone is definitely working on what they can do, what they can offer, how to go about making an offer, because they definitely still... Um, are tied to you, connected to you, and they want to contribute. Now, Page of Pentacles is small. It could be a message, but there is some kind of stability tied to this Page of Pentacles. And then with the Hangman, it feels like what's necessary is for you both to kind of take a break, 
take a moment take a breather okay look at a situation differently maybe you don't have the whole story maybe there's something you're not seeing right there's, there's sun so it's like the enlightenment around someone's um head right getting some kind of truth or enlightenment after maybe some kind of uh, downtime okay so give me the energy of what's coming toward you whoever this person is energy page of cups okay so it could be someone who was offering an apology for some of you guys this is an offer it's a love offer it's something with emotions and feelings it could be a message it could be literally a good morning text right it also could be just an apology saying i'm sorry i don't know what i was thinking my head was in the clouds <laughs> We have the Empress, the Five of Pentacles in the world, crossed by the lovers in reverse, so Gemini energy. I feel like the energy is telling me, Sagittarius, that someone is recognizing your value. They see your value. They see your worth. The Empress is divine. She's mother, right? She's wife. Um, there, it talks about expansion, manifestation, fertility. So I feel like someone is recognizing everything they can have with you, Sagittarius, and they're finding themselves alone right now. Five of Pentacles are finding themselves in this place where they're feeling abandoned, they're feeling neglected, they have um, nothing. <laughs> they have nothing to live for. And they can be looking at the Empress energy, wanting to expand, wanting to grow and thrive and do things differently, wanting to invest. And maybe that's why the Page of Pentacles and Page of Cups is here. I'm sorry, I care for you, I love you, I have these feelings and I want to nurture you. Page of Pentacles, I want to make an offer, I want to put in some kind of effort, okay? Now, how they see moving forward is the world and the lovers in reverse. I feel like there's a big, big lesson regarding a divine connection here. I think the lovers can talk about two people where, you know, your souls are intertwined and maybe a decision was made. It wasn't the right decision, but the world is some kind of like coming back around. There's some kind of karma perhaps between you and your person that is being sorted out. Give me the outcome. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Two of Wands. Maybe there's an earth sign who has to make a decision. But there's a lot of like indecision, right? Four wands. Yeah, about coming together. You know, it feels like someone is like unsure. It's like, I want to give you my all, right? I have security and stability. I want to make an offer. But, you know, would I get what I ultimately want? Four wands, peace, harmony, togetherness, family, home, marriage, right? Um, I feel like someone is really desiring these things. But the two of wands is kind of like, well, how do I get there? What do I need to do to get there, right? What are the steps I need to take? So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. Sagittarius, you know, person, whoever you're thinking about dealing with, connected to. Stepping out of my comfort zone and healing from heartbreak. So someone needs to heal. Heal from the past, the hurt, disappointment, okay? Maybe regarding the love opportunity. And, you know, take that next step. Be bold. <laughs> Take that next step and step out of your comfort zone. Aries energy with the fool, right? All right. One card for the challenge. We have the seven of pentacles. Um, I really think that you both are kind of like looking back and saying, we have so much to live for. We have, we have so much that we've invested in. Why would we just give all this up, right? Why would we just throw all this away? And I think it comes down to like, Someone recognizing that, yeah, I'm hurt, but we also have invested so much, so much time, energy, effort, right? And so it's requiring someone to, again, step out of their comfort zone, take a risk in order to save this investment. So in a recent past, we have the Fool, the Six of Swords, the Devil, Six of Coins in reverse, that's the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Hermit, Virgo energy. So um, a lot of Earth energy for sure. In a recent past, I definitely get a sense that there was an imbalance. There may have been some kind of I'm getting like insecurity. Someone was not financially secure. They were not in the place where they needed to be um, to be able to give you what you needed, Sagittarius. And so the hermit could be this person drawing a blank, going silent, could have ghosted you, right? Someone needed time. Someone got in their head. Someone needed a moment, right? Um, and the devil could be the reason for that. Maybe there was something they were tied to from the past and they couldn't move on from or break away from. And I think the Six of Swords is really highlighting that needing to resolve some kind of conflict or situation before they take that next step that fool card whether it's healing purging releasing from an ex or past lover there's something like that going on here where it's like i need a moment to get my life together to cut this thing out in order for me to invest the way you want me to where it's balanced and reciprocated six of pentacles where there's equal give and take 
All right, the current energy is the Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Hangman. All right, two of Pentacles in a verse is suggesting maybe there is some kind of trade-off. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Knight of Cups. Someone is saying, I'm willing to maybe even make a sacrifice, let go of something that I've been holding on to or juggling because it's not serving me and what I want is love. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups is definitely a big, big love offer coming in. Someone is recognizing their heart for you. Their love for you is deep, right? And they can't escape this. So maybe after much thought, much thinking with the hangman, someone is recognizing, I do want to offer my cup. I do want to offer these feelings I have for you. And they haven't been speaking about this. Ace of Swords in the verse, they've been keeping quiet. They've been silent. Um, but it's a, only a matter of time. The two pentacles in the verse, they're going to let go of something. This is literally the energy of juggling, going back and forth indecisive right going back and forth back and forth and then they drop something let it go because they can't they're not going to stay like this forever so there is a love offer coming in and i feel like this is definitely someone who is really thinking about their feelings and they know what they want right after much thinking thought hangman give me the page of cups and the empress it could be an apology the strength it's taking someone a whole lot of strength emotional strength physical strength um faith right in order to make um an offer or to apologize someone is really being challenged in doing this right now it's like i know i need to tell sagittarius I, i'm sorry but it's not that easy right and so the strength is here for that reason this could be a leo we have a ten of wands someone is feeling quite burdened and a knight of cup king of cups in a verse so someone i feel like the energy is telling me that someone is like feeling like can i be for some of you enough man for you can i can I express my feelings for you the way you need okay, need me to because the Empress is here? Um, will you give me the opportunity to love you the right way? That's, that's literally what I'm feeling because the Ten of Wands is feeling burdened. It's feeling like this is heavy. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I can um, ultimately give you what you desire and need and, and meet your needs on an emotional level, right? Because that King of Cups. Someone is questioning, are they strong enough? Are, are, they, are they enough for you? So give me the five of pentacles. We have the world and the lovers. Queen of pentacles in a verse, four of cups and a two of swords. So there's that big head of a heart decision, two of swords. Someone is feeling conflicted. They know a decision needs to be made. Left, right, right. There's two options, two people, two paths. Um, some of you guys are afraid of making a decision because they think that they're going to come in with this offer and you're going to reject them. You're going to look at them and, you know, not really think anything of it. So someone is is feeling perhaps not as secure, not it not as secure as they could be because they just don't know like what could happen. Um, the lovers in reverse, right? There is a decision, but maybe it's no longer their decision anymore regarding whether you and them come together. Someone is feeling at five of pentacles, feeling deserted, abandoned, neglected by you, feeling a little bit left out in the cold is what I'm seeing here. But there's a big decision being made to swords, and maybe it's requiring someone to cut something out completely. All right, two of wands. We have the four of wands here. Coming in the outcome. What's that? Temperance. I like it. Sagittarius, that's you. Eight of wands. I like it. Movement change. Shuffling. Three of swords in a verse. Okay, so that's that healing energy, right? There's some hurt. There's heartbreak. There's devastation. But there's healing underway. And that's what's coming in. A lot of you guys need to know that there is something that's being healed and dealt with. There's recovery underway with the three of swords in a verse. And it's literally requiring you and your person, Sag, to let go of something from the past that you've experienced that was so damn difficult, right? Because when you do that, three of swords in a verse, you let it go. You cut away from that heartbreak and, and hurt. Temperance and eight of wands allowing something to finally move forward. But it's not going to happen right away because the temperance is asking you to be patient. Be patient. Do things in moderation. Don't expect something to just happen overnight. And the temperance is really a very spiritual card. It's, it's telling me that you're having to like, really maybe in a moment... Take time for yourself, connect with yourself, dig deeper, okay? But the temperance is definitely telling me something is happening, but it's just not on your time scale. <laughs> it's not happening when you want it, but it will happen because the Eight of Wands is movement, it's change, it's communication, it's progress, right? Okay? So I see that happening, and I feel like a part of it could be the Two of Wands, someone trying to decide, um, making the decision okay with the four wands coming together twin flame energy right 11 11 um but also healing and that's what's necessary someone needs to heal that's literally what the challenge came out as healing from heartbreak 
the sooner you both heal and, and deal with your inner demons, the sooner you can come together and bring that beautiful energy movement toward that four wands. Harmony, family, right? That is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Happy holidays again, and I'll check you guys out soon. All right, take care.